This is a Compass Navigator 120. Now what's brilliant about this is it's a six meter vehicle, so it's very compact, but it's a coach built. So you've got that very square back to it, which gives you so much space because you've got the height and you've got the 90 degree angles. Everything's completely upright rather than the van, which tends to sort of taper in as it goes up. So these are absolutely brilliant for couples because it sleeps too and it does have those lovely compact dimensions. So let's take a walk down the outside. You can see what I mean about how upright this is. It just goes straight on up and that gives it a pretty decent amount of space. To come right back to the back. You've got mounting points to put a bike rack on if you want to. And if you come around onto this side then you can see again just how much space that gives you. So it's quite a narrow vehicle and it's quite a short vehicle so it's brilliant for tighter areas but we'll head on inside and I will show you just how much space you get with this because it's pretty impressive. So let's come right on round. Now this one is based on a Peugeot, it's a 2.2 litre manual diesel engine and we access the body back here. So let's step on in. We'll take a look up here at the cab first of all. You can see loads of headroom here, the way this comes forward and then drops away. Loads of light as well with these big skylights in it. And it's the standard Peugeot dashboard. These seats, as you can see, swivel, so you can use these when you're at rest. And then up above you've got things like the smoke alarm and the carbon monoxide alarm and that kind of stuff, obviously essential in any vehicle like this. If we come on right round then, What's brilliant is they've not tried to cram too much into this, so everything is a decent size. This back area here you can make into a double bed, but we'll start up here. You've got the kitchen over on this side. You can raise this up to give you a bit more workspace if you want it. And then the sink also has a lid on it, as you can see there, so that's pretty handy. Three burner hob underneath that one. And then under here you've got the oven. And you've got a pretty decent sized fridge there. And then storage up above, so plates and all that kind of stuff. That can all live in there. Like so. I like the lighting in here. These are nice. You can see them dotted around the place. Just a bit of pin lighting, which is great. And if we come on back then, this is the bathroom. Again, for a six metre vehicle, really decent size. Shower in there as well, and a bit more storage. Tucked in behind there. Even a skylight over that one as well, so you can get plenty of light and ventilation into there if you want to. And then back here, this one is a big hanging locker. And underneath that we've got a little lift up section there so again that all went to the kitchen and then that's all your circuit breakers and fuses and so on down underneath more storage underneath here so they've really crammed it into every area oh, we need to get both of those open that's why that one open there we go like so and then a load of storage up around the top. So all of these open as you would expect. We've got opening windows on here as well so you can get a load of air through here on a hot day. These all have blinds that drop down over them like so. And you've got curtains as well on this one. And these natty little reading lights dotted around the place. It's a very comfortable machine. Nice seating here and this as I mentioned earlier is what makes into a double bed. So there you go, for a six metre vehicle, I think you'll agree, it's pretty impressive. Let's head on back to the front. A load of headroom in here as well, actually. I'm six foot two, and as you can see, plenty of space. So there we go. Many thanks to Highbridge Motorhomes. They've organised this tour, and huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching. We'll catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.